We're going to talk about some very exciting news about Shiba Inus, the crypto market, and Bitcoin. Please smile at me, hit the like button, and let's do the Shiba shake. Make sure you don't play with it if you shake it more than twice a day. That joke is only meant for guys to understand. Right now, the price of Shiba Inu is 0 0.50,928, which is up 0.76%. It was already up at 955, but it's been going down a bit lately. The price of Bitcoin went up about 3.27% and almost reached 44,000, but it is now down a little at 43,527. The market as a whole is up 2.47% at 155. The crypto market is having a very interesting day right now. There are some that are up and some that are down, but Bitcoin is becoming more popular. It's up 1.28% since yesterday. If we look at this graph, you can see that the dominance was falling off after a few weeks. It then hit the bottom of the stochastic fall and is now rising again. The crypto market goes through cycles like this. Bitcoin goes up, then it starts to lose its dominance. Altcoins like Shiba Inu and the rest start to go up, and now we're seeing a second run-up for Bitcoin's dominance. It will be interesting to see when the power changes, since it looks like it's coming back. At that point, Bitcoin will either go up less than altcoins or go down a bit while altcoins go up. More often than not, the money leaves Bitcoin and slowly makes its way into the cryptocurrency market. This is what happened a few weeks ago and could happen again soon. Shiba Inu and Dogecoin are still acting a lot alike. Shiba Inu is now at 9.30 and Dogecoin is at 9.2. Dogecoin will likely try to get to 9.3 soon, or Shiba Inu will drop to 9.2 as well. We'll keep an eye on this because it's interesting. I like these bits of information that let you know what might be happening. If you lose the $500, however, only if you don't live in the U. S. If you do, I'll look for another relationship and get in touch with Crypto.com so that we can talk with them. As of just now, I found out that Bybit is not offered in the U. I didn't know that. Why do people crack? There's news, but once more, we should be skeptical because we were tricked, right? Putting an X next to this means it just came out, but it might not be true. I don't know if it's fake news, so take it with a grain of salt. So far, BlackRock has said that in October, a seed investor bought $100,000 worth of its Bitcoin ETF shares. This is just the start. What does this mean now? If this is true, then it looks like there are certain people at BlackRock who have a special status. It could be because of how much money they have or because they were one of the first investors in BlackRock, but I don't know how to get that position. The things you buy don't always have to be set up. Now we see that early buyers are getting ready to buy the Bitcoin ETF. Even Lark says it's probably a done deal. It's just not official yet. Right, the real game is going on behind closed doors. And it has to happen, right? We heard, we'll talk about that in a moment, but we do know that BlackRock and Bitwise filed new Bitcoin ETF applications with the SAC. This pretty much means that the changes they needed to make were the last ones. After meeting with the SAC, they told them everything that needed to be changed or brought up to date. The BlackRock's last day is March, and ARK's last day is January. Yes, it's possible. ARK might be turned down, and BlackRock will have a few months after that. If the SAC finds something they don't like, they might have two months, until March, to fix everything, in case there was a small mistake in the file. It looks like this deal is set. And already we're reading things like this, right? Bitcoin is the first thing that is more valuable than gold. On CNBC, they were basically talking about how, in the next Bitcoin halving, there will be less Bitcoin being created every year compared to the amount of gold being extracted. I believe this is the word. I think I said it wrong, right? Getting dug up, right? Being dug up, right? From the bottom. That's an interesting situation, and more and more people are talking about cryptocurrency in news stories and on old school programs like CNBC. That puts older people in the US who watch CNBC Fox business, and are there any others in the US at risk? 
Channels that talk about the stock market, but not many young people watch them. They might be online, and they could watch the live stream on YouTube. But for older people, like my grandmother, who used to watch MSNBC, she might have become interested in Bitcoin after reading an article or seeing one of these segments. She might have called her grandmother, who is no longer with us, and asked, then I would have to talk to her about the good and bad things about being her age, right? It's likely that she is close to 90 years old now. So, yes, we would need to talk about her future investments when she turns 90. But she was different, right? When she was trading, she used margin and was an interesting person to watch. Now we might see what happens with Bitcoin again. You might ask, what does Bitcoin have to do with Shibano again? As control rises, new money flows in. This money then slowly makes its way back to Shibano and the altcoin market. At this point, people are looking for the next big thing in crypto, so money starts to flow into the others, or the others, as I call them. On this kind of momentum and news, it will be interesting to see how high Bitcoin can go today. But again, it's really pulled up and is getting into really extreme greed territory. Luck-based mistakes can be seen all the way to the top. The crypto fear level is at 75. The next update will likely happen in five hours, and it will be around 80. We're getting close to being too greedy, right? I think it will be extra, extra greedy if we get to 50,000, right? Just in the last few days, Bitcoin has made a very strong move, up about 15% in four days. That's very, very strong for Bitcoin here. We're now getting into the area of greed. Just be careful if you day trade or swing trade. On the way, you might see a little pulling back. It's like this, one day honey, one day onions. There are times when you go back a little, even if you've had four or five days in a row of green. People make money and day traders have a lot of power and can change the market in a lot of ways. Just be careful with that. It will be interesting to see how much Shiba Inus cost. Does it try to get past 1,000 by deleting a zero? Not able to do that. There's some room for stochastic full for Shiba Inu to move up, right? It takes away some of the pain for an hour. Oh, I see. That's four hours and one hour. It went all the way to the bottom, then popped up to the top, and then pulled back a bit. It wouldn't surprise me if we tested the 900 area again. It will be interesting to see what the crypto market does in this area over the next few hours and days. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We've lost about half of you, but you keep coming back. To make sure you see about three movies a day, subscribe and ring the bell. That's it for me. Only three, even if I make more. Because you watched. Thank you.